Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. So, weekly open, uh, weekly candle. We have, um, I mean, we've closed. We've given ourselves a bit of a, um, a catch-22 situation. I think that's the right sentence, catch-22. I always remember that because my dad used to go fishing at a lake called Catch-22. <laughs> fishing lake named Catch-22. Um, so whereby you have uh, two options, or two outliers, rather. Um, if we look at, let's go back to the weekly. <clears throat> This has swept the lows. This has swept the highs. Now, if you had, if you wanted to find a reason to be long, you can. If you want to find a reason to be short, you can. I know it seems like you can every time, but this is a literal 50-50. This is, this, well, I suppose it's not. It's probably 51-49 in the sense that Maybe a little bit more, but let's just say it's 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 favoured towards longs because we have trend, we have halving, we have Wall Street buying. So the fact that this has happened and it's not collapsed, this was the main candle to watch because after this has happened, what you then need is a follow through because bulls need to be trapped. They didn't get trapped. In my opinion. In fact, they're probably sitting more confident now after this happens. So, <clears throat> I think, I think we're gonna look for longs this week. We're gonna look for longs. Now, if I bring in the levels, what we can do, as we've mentioned before, is we can um, use. We can use last week's high, last week's low on on the following week, um, but we can't use it for three weeks in a row. We can use it for two weeks in a row. Same with Monday range. Same with previous weekly open. We can't use it on the third week. You can use it one week one and week two. So you can use it when it's the weekly open, and you can use it when it's the previous weekly open. You can't use it previous previous. Okay, so we'll stretch this over, relabel this. Um, previous Monday low. Okay, we thought we'd stay within the range last week. We did. Um, now, how, how am I going to get into this market? Well, I mentioned previously. Um, I mentioned previously a uh, KSR, which is here. <clears throat> Key support here. So you can see a couple of things forming, which is the new range that we're in. So if we're going to have a target, for example, how we would use this range, because it's an, you know you can you can you can always say Bitcoin's in a range if you really fucking want want to force the issue. Excuse my language. You can say, oh, that's a range. You can say, oh, you know, you can go on forever and ever. You can say, oh, you know, this whole fucking thing is a range. But I I like to just focus on price now today work from right to left okay tom dante classic so now what we have is this here which is clearly been very well respected it's it 
push down there and it seems to have trapped theirs. Right, and it's got back in quite quickly. So, I mean, we have one on the upside as well, but because of trend, because of 20x flows on the ETF, of course we have grayscale selling, probably for another two weeks. But I am going to risk it. I, th I think the risk um, <clears throat> comes if you, in, the, in the form of a short. Now, I'm happy to sit aside or long. So it, there will need to be a setup. I can't just lock, blindly long anything. But I'm not going to sit here and go, you know what, I'm going to take a short. Because I don't think there's that much value in it at the moment. They needed, they needed to be last week. They needed to be. <clears throat> we needed to break down to, to give some to give some confirmation of the high here. We moved up and we've ranged. We needed to move up and pull back here and then continue on lower. And we haven't. So my current thoughts are that weekend price action wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad either. We'll bring in the weekly open. We'll bring in the weekly open. Now we've got a couple of things forming. So we mentioned the gap fill there on the previous stream. <clears throat> so if I can have an entry that looks a little something like this. Um, there's the gap fill. There's Monday range. Let's bring in the weekly open. With last week's highs and lows. Last week's high. <clears throat> and last week's low would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's Monday low. Monday was the low of the week, so I don't need to bring in another one. Another one. What I can do is I can flip that, I think. Just to suit my OCD. <laughs> Top right. <clears throat> Just move this so I can post the screenshot with the trade I take or the, the setup rather. It needs to be neat and tidy, doesn't it? Now what I would like to see would be I would like the market to take this out early. And by early I mean today. So there's a couple of couple of trades that I'm interested in. I'd like it to drop in and take out previous weekly low or Monday low. Do you know what? I'm going to flip that. I'm going to name that previous weekly low or last week's low rather. More relevant. Previous Monday high is resistance. Do I need it? Yeah, it is SR. Is it going to benefit me? I only like to keep things on the chart that are actionable. Otherwise, it gets a bit messy. Now, am I going to use that? Um, yeah, I am, actually. Because one of the setups, it will trigger uh, a setup, which I'll go over now. So I'd like it to take out the dough early on today before New York opens. We'll get back inside and then look for positions here. Because at the moment, I need to define my risk. And is it there? I don't know if it is blindly long there entry or oh, sorry risk here no I think I want it to drop take it out along with these okay and then I could quite easily long that up to KSR because remember we are very much range bound between here and here okay so don't expect it to move out of this range. Trade within for another week or two. Let the market um, build up some strength if it's there to then break that level. Because that level is so important that when it gets broken, you don't want it to fail. 
right? It's so important. Once it breaks, you want this to hold, consolidate, because it's not just going to go for that. It's not just going to, if the market trends up from here, it's not just going up just to sweep them positions and then come back down. No, 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 no. That's then the move towards all-time all high. Okay, so break this this key level, which was resistance, 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 failure, resistance, failure to break out, dropped, reaccumulated, sent higher. Okay. Then we go to 60, 69, 70, 80K. Okay, so let it build. Let it build a base. But the, in, for, in the meantime, we just trade within the range. Now, <clears throat> there could be a couple of couple of longs, couple of shorts in here for another couple of weeks. So, good opportunity to make some money. Now, if I come back to this one, other setup is like this okay bring it to the m20 m20 now the potential there is the potential that oh, where is it it's here lovely there is the potential that this cluster holds Okay, so this consolidation of price that sends it up, it's pulled back to it. There's a potential that this holds. Now, if that is the case, which I would welcome as well, I keep missing my toolbar. I normally put it there. <laughs> um, then I'd like to at least run these lows just to take out the early longs now and then move up. Okay, look a little more. It look, it would look more. It would look a little something like this. I need to break that high for longs, so it'd be something like this, and then this. Okay, somewhere in there we'll take a position long. idea what it would look like but let's use this as an example I don't like grey boxes so let's use uh, double okay it looks something like that so we could entry here stop here target one but mainly target two okay that's what we're looking for today. Of course, the inverse or the the extra trade on top of that is that we don't need to take these lows out. There could be a low now. Okay, well how it how it forces my hand is to move up and then same. Okay. Then same stop loss here. Thanks for joining. Bye bye.